All right, Chris Ball had 10, Devin Booker 11. Stephen A, I'll start with you here. Mm -hmm. What went wrong for the Suns? Everything. That's the first answer. Uh, props to the Dallas Mavericks. I sincerely, I got to apologize. I didn't see this coming. I knew Luka was going to do what he was going to do. I had no idea Spencer Dinwiddie would play like that. I thought Jalen Brunson would do his thing. But to be down, to be up by 30 at the half, or Luka to have as many points as the Phoenix Suns in the first half, for them to be up as many as 46 in a game seven. It was the largest halftime deficit in the history of a game seven. Uh, it was one of the largest deficits, the 46 point deficit in NBA history. It was a complete catastrophe on the part of the Phoenix Suns. It don't get much worse than what we saw yesterday. DeAndre Ayton, good luck in getting your max dollars. That's going to be compromised. You Devin Booker, you still a star. Mad respect for you in the whole bit. But a game seven defines Legacies. We all know this. When you don't show up in a game seven in epic fashion the way that they did yesterday, that is the kind of stuff that stays attached to you throughout your career unless you offset it by coming back to win a championship. That's just the way it is, J.J. and Bev. Y'all know that. That's number two. Number three, I'm sad for my man Chris Paul because from the moment he turned 37, he's been awful. Averaging nine points, three and a half turnovers. I don't know what the hell happened to him over the last four or five games. When they lost four of those last five games, I don't know what the hell happened. In the last, since he dropped 28 points in game two, Chris Paul has made 18 shots and has committed 18 turnovers the rest of this series. That's all he did. And so when you look at it from that perspective, um, I know they think they'll be back next year, but I'm looking at all the teams no. in the Western Conference, and I got serious concerns about the future. It was very, very bad, period. No excuses. They got their butts whipped. No, they're not going back. They're not going back. Uh, the NBA is going to be way more healthier next year. Uh, the competition is, is going to be stiff. People understand the way to win against Phoenix, and that is attacking Chris Paul. If you watch the game, if I'm a coach and I play, if, I, if I'm playing Phoenix Suns in the playoffs, I'm, I'm holding my hat on that. It worked. Wear them down, make them play D, make them score, make them facilitate, and we go have our hats at the end of who will win. And um, that's what Dallas did. You have to give Jason, Jason Kidd a lot, a lot of credit. A lot of credit. He did a hell of a job. I, you know, I, I've, I've talked about the Phoenix Suns in a, in a glowing light all season. Yeah. I've talked about Book and CP in a glowing light all mm -hmm. season. Um, and CP is a dear friend, but they, they deserve all the slander that they are going to get over the coming weeks and months for that Game 7 performance. And they talk so much. And, oh, and, my God. It, <laughs> and it, you know, we talked. I was on here Hold last week. I, 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 was, I was on here last week, and I, we've said the same thing. I said the same thing as you. I th it was 2-2. I said, ultimately, I think, you know, Suns win this series. Um, I did Game 6 on Thursday. And I think Dallas had figured them out. And I had a really hard time believing that they were going to win yesterday, that Suns, that Suns would be able to win yesterday. Luka came out, he snatched their soul. Like, there was, there was something that happened there in that first half, first quarter and a half, where he just took their soul. He took all the life out of that team. That's how good he is. To your point, they attacked CP. Game six and seven, CP scored 23 points. As the primary defender, when he was guarding, he gave up 33 points, 118 points per possession when he was the primary defender in game six and seven. That's league best offense. Right I'm, there. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at, well, as you see those no, no, numbers, that, I'm looking at. That, that, is, that is league best offense. So the formula, you blitz CP, you don't play drop, you force him to his left hand, and you attack him. Because when you get down to the playoffs, we've seen this this year especially, when you get down to the playoffs, what matters? Size matters. Right. You need big wings. You need a player like Giannis. That's why losing Chris Middleton was so important, you know, was for the Celtics to win that series. You need size. And, I, like, I love CP. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest point guards of all time. He's one of them, Pat. He's right. absolutely one Is of them. Is this one to let up? But, but <laughs> hop out. I, I do question if he is your best player. Right. If he is your best player, is your ceiling a championship team? Well, and so far, it, historically, the answer to that is no. The ceiling is not a championship team. That's, that's number one. Let's get that out of the way. You get blown out and you're down by 46 in a game seven on your home court. Everything goes out the window. Yep. You have been significantly humbled and exposed. Those are the two words that come to my mind, humble and exposed. Yeah, Luka did what he did, but I'm not surprised by that. I expected Luka to do his thing. What I didn't expect is that the reason why I picked the Phoenix Suns to win this game is because they were getting blown out on the road and they were winning at home. The role players seem to be different 
in Dallas than they were when they went on the road. And that's what I was counting on. I was thinking about game seven, pressurized environment. It's going to have to come down to Luka. And Luka alone wins you at home, but on the road, not so much. So I was assuming that Phoenix was going to do what they were supposed to do in game seven. But let's call it what it is. They got their ass kicked. And I mean thoroughly. It was, an, it was a beat down. And if you are Devin Booker, you've also been humbled because, again, Luka is such a star. That was your opportunity to remind everybody you were one, too. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.